And welcome everyone, thank you very much again for joining me today on my latest episode on the latest Liverpool and transfer talk coming in all around the world on our beloved Liverpool Football Club. Alright everyone, to all my subscribers and all the viewers, and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, you absolute legends. The growing family is becoming even bigger. Well, thank you very much for every single one of you that subscribed and for all the likes, as, as always, on every single one of my videos. Got a packed show today. We're going to be talking about Mane. Bit, bit about Mane today. Solanke, bit of a cheeky one there today. Obviously, the main talking one is Kaita. I'll talk about that after the Mane story. The Champions League ticket pricing, if you want to know about that, that's all being released. And I'll be talking a, bit, a little tiny bit on more transfers, not on much going round. And obviously, if you liked my last video, that I've just literally just released a couple of, uh, it was like an hour ago. Check that out. It was just about storage. I want all you to get involved, really. Should we keep Danny Studge or could, should we sell him? Let me know. That's what I want to know. That's on the other video, so check that out. But if you like this video, as always, smash that like button. I know you all can. You're absolute legends that you are. But let me know what he's been doing. I hope he's had a quality, quality day. It's been sunny. I've got my shorts on, but you can't see it. But yeah, no, I've got my shorts on. Didn't have that big massive rat red coat on. But yeah, right, let's get stuck into the news. Right, Mane. It's on the LFC TV. As always, I'll leave all the stories in below so you can all explore it after the show. But Mane is fully fit and he will he'll be full in full training in 10 days. How exciting is that to see Saudio Mane back in the Liverpool team? Fully fit and training. Pre-season, get a full pre-season under his belt. For me, Mane, what a, what a season he had last season. Let me know how you thought about Saudio Mane. I didn't think much of him when he come in. Let me know. Did you expect a lot from Sergio Mane? Obviously, coming from Southampton, of all clubs, of all all the clubs, but he was in amazing Southampton. I'm just happy that very first game at the Emirates when he cut in and banged in with his left left hand foot. Oh, that was when we knew he we had a player in our hands. But I can't wait. Him and Mane, uh, him and Salah. Wow. What do you expect? Right. Let me know in the bottom down, downstairs. Downstairs, how many goals do you reckon Mane will get? Let me know down below for this upcoming season. Let me know and see. I'll take a screenshot of all the comments of all the goals and well, I'll see back end of, at the end of the season. I give a little giveaway on uh, if anyone can guess what Mane got at the end of at the end of the season on this video. Kaita news. I'll get into that now as well. He has been quoted today. Meant to be said. Kaita has come out, the journalist of his in his native country has come out. It's not the, it's it's what you really want to believe. Really, he's a. I don't know how well he knows Kaita, um, Nabi, but I leave it at print screen. Right, there's a tweet and that, but it's come out. It said he's talked about Nabi will not spit in the face of RB Leipzig, which is very much. I think if he is wanting to leave, by the sounds of it, he's trying to be very much reasonable and not he's not gonna he doesn't want to disrespect the football club, which is very nice to see. And potentially, and obviously, if you haven't seen my last video, I talked a bit about the CEO and the chairman. They're all gonna come out with the stance of he's not coming out. I think it was like an hour ago, one of the CEOs, someone high up in RB Leipzig, reiterated that he will not be leaving. But I think we'll be hearing that a lot this summer when he's not coming. If he's not, if he is. But I really much think he is very much coming. But as always, I'll leave that story in the links down down in the uh, description below. So yeah, that rounds up the Nabi Kaita news. And right, there's a cheeky one. Solanke, did anyone see if they checked out the Liverpool website? He was he was training one of you at the Liverpool first team. Right, so I get the picture up. Yeah. Right, there he is. He's running around with all the players. He's not officially signed, but he more or less has. It's like... Like the boss and all the gaffers of all, and Klopper went, right lad, you can train with us, but you haven't signed your contract officially yet, but you are coming. So he, he kind of, he, he, he snuck in, didn't he, in the pictures. I only, it was only until someone pointed it out and went, you do know Slanky's in that picture. I was like, what? But yeah, he's like, he's training with all the boys. But that, that that's the ladies, I found that funny. But yeah, right, on other transfer news, there's been more, not much very, there's nothing really ha happening. A couple of people have asked me about Aubameyang. At the minute, oh, Aubameyang, we're not really, not really going for them, as Paul say. It's more or less, he's he's looking like he's going. 
to China. He, it, which is a shame from all the rep latest reports I've seen. What a waste. If he does go to China, yeah, it, it might be hard for us. Like, obviously, we're not earning the wages of football players, all of us, but what a waste of talent. Like, at the age, he's 28, 29, I think. But you could go to a top European team like Liverpool or what, but just to pick up at like 600 grand a week, yeah, that's a lot of money. And nowadays, but maybe move when you're 30, not, not, not when you're 28. It's a shame with Oscar as well. Like, yet the Chinese leagues wanting to get up, up and running. But no, like a Bamiyan. So that was the latest a couple of years we're asking. So yeah. And there's no other. Robinson, obviously the Scot Scottish international left back. He's looking like it might, he might be potentially our second choice back up. That was a little bit of the news as well. He, he's been more talk of him potentially maybe moving to Anfield. So, but he'd be as a second. Obviously, as I've said to all you, Klopp sees Milner as, a, as the first choice left back, whether we like it or not. But I personally, if Klopp can trust Millie to go into the Champions League, I would trust Klopp. And if we get Robinson, he's very much a young up and coming left back. Obviously, he was a hull, but we'll have to watch that space. But yeah, ticket Champions League tickets I've got written down here. Champions League tickets will be a, a f frozen for the f for the f for that from the last time we were in it three years ago. The total top pricing of a, the main ticket is fifty nine pounds. That is going to be the same as a Premier League ticket in the top like top bracket like the Chelsea's or Uniteds and that. And then the other prices for all around, depending on where you sit, obviously, if you've been to Anfield, it'd be 43 quid, 42, 39 and 37, respectively. And obviously, the announcements of the teams that we'll be playing will be made on the 4th for our opponents in the qualifiers. So that, that is a very much exciting date and I'll be doing, uh, wait, I'll be literally getting on that camera as soon as that draws being made. And I'll do a prediction of the teams that I want us to see to get. Obviously, you've got seeding and you've got the non-seeded teams. But obviously, we're just one of the seeded teams, which is fantastic news. Like and subscribe. Basically, all I, I, I can honestly say, thank you from my heart to heart. Thank you so much for that, every single one of you for liking and subscribing. And as always, join the family. If you're not subscribed, join us all so we can all discuss. I'm going to be setting up, hopefully, as I mentioned, a studio. I'm looking into doing a podcast, a, we um, a weekly podcast for all use, and I'll set up, hopefully, potentially, <coughs> excuse me, um, you can ring in, and we're recording a couple of questions and all that, we can all ask the studio guests as well, and ideally, if you'd like to come down, but that, that's in the near in the near future, it's not going to happen like next week, but it's potentially what I'm building up to, hopefully, with all your support, I know you're all absolutely amazing, we're going to get there eventually, and yeah, but let me know if you like me Danny Sturridge video, we haven't seen that, as I mentioned in the beginning, Check that out. It was a little kind of vlog style but video, but let me know. I'd love to do a lot more. Go outside of Liverpool, get some um, interviews really with all the fans and, and yous as well. So let me know if you'd like a, not a lot more. I'd be doing the usual stuff behind me and all that in the green screen. But let me know if you'd like a bit more vloggy style ones as well as to go with all these. And I think that's it. Lacazette obviously talked about he's gone to Arsenal, which is a shame and we kind of missed out on him. But let me know on your thoughts on Lacazette as well in the comment section. Do you reckon we might have missed a trick with the Frenchman? Let me know below. But yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. As always, like and subscribe. Join the family. And it's been a pleasure. Hope you're having a sick day. Let me know if you're sunbathing in the garden, if it's nice enough. But up to the heads, and I'll see you very soon. You never walk alone. Come on, yeah!